welcome to lecture 3 of uh, autodesk course in this lecture we will learn that how to add uh, columns to uh, our structure so in order to load uh, columns in our structure uh, we have uh, two options that um, uh, because we have two types of column in our uh, uh, revit one is the architectural column and the other one is structural but we will be adding the structural column so in order to do this first uh, go to the structural tab and here you see the column option so click on this and now here at the property palette you see that this is a w shape column it is actually a structural uh, steel and we will be adding uh, um, concrete column in our structure too so here you see the option for concrete and you can load this from the family as well here at the top you see and uh, here uh, this is the dimension of the cross section this is 12 by uh, 18 and we will be changing this to a different uh, dimension we will add a 9 by 12 uh, column so from uh, for this you have to click on the edit type and here you see the dimension b uh, breadth and the height of the cross section of the column so make this as the 9 inch and change this to uh, only one fit so remove this six so this will be added as only uh, one fit so this will be 9 by 12 inch and here you see uh, another option for the preview in order to preview your column you can do this so here you see the preview that how uh, your column is so now let's change a square uh, column like uh, the column uh, will be having a square cross section so we will select this uh, 12 by 12 inch so let's add a square column to our structure so i have uh, changed this dimension back to one feet by one feet and now uh, in order to select this type so hit ok and now you can add uh, this uh, one by one and there is another method uh, for the shortcut but before this you have to check these th thing this the first thing we are adding a vertical column not a slanted so first uh, click the vertical and now here you see the other option as well this is the depth so change this from uh, per height because we are adding the column from foundation to the uh, datum level so we are right now in the foundation level so we will be selecting uh, the we will be changing the depth to height so make it height and uh, here uh, the second thing is unconnected so we will connect this to the uh, uh, floor level or the datum so this is now you can add one by one to these uh, grid points or you can add in another point as well but we will be going uh, we will be loading this column only to the grid points so here i will add one by one you see but uh, we have another method in the autodesk revit through uh, that is the shortcut method and the very fast method through which you can add the column in just an instant to all the grid points so for this you see uh, here an option uh, this is uh, the option through which you can add the uh, columns to all the grid points so first click on this and now select all the grid points uh, to which you want to uh, add or load these columns so i have selected the first uh, grid and i will select only these uh, four grid because uh, uh, to the fifth grid i have already loaded the column so i have selected now hit the finish so the column will be added to these grid points now you can see this in the 3d view so let's remove this uh, wall so now you see here the columns that uh, how these are added to all the grid points so the option for adding the grid uh, the column to all the grid point is very fast and helpful in adding the column to in a uh, when the structure is very huge so you can see this in different view so this was the method uh, that how you can add uh, columns to your structure so hope you like this video tutorial uh, thank you for watching and if you want to uh, watch the whole course so click on the eye tab at the uh, top corner here so you will be able to watch the whole course thank you take care allah hafiz